Welcome to Orange Picks. Today I will list the best new series of 2023 on Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Disney+. Plus. Here is our list of the 10 best new series. It's terrible the world's come to this. I feel sorry for your generation. Number 10. Lockwood & Co. is an adventure series set in an eerie and suspenseful world. The world is infested with ghosts and only young people are allowed to work as ghost hunters. Anthony Lockwood, Lucy Carlyle and George Cubbins work for a ghost hunting agency in London and their job is tough. But one day, a ghostly apparition in a famous historic house leads them on an adventure and their lives become more dangerous than ever. The three young hunters must solve secrets, fend off danger and rely on each other to survive in a dangerous world full of ghosts. There are ghosts, and then there's us, and it is kill or be killed. Number 9. The Head of Joaquin Merida Joaquin Merida is an outlaw living in California during the gold rush. Of Mexican descent, Merida harbors a great hatred for the Americans because they killed both the woman he loved and his brother. Merida vows revenge after these sufferings and starts robberies with his friend Carrillo. However, these robberies bring them into conflict with both the law and rival gangs. In particular, they are hunted by a ruthless bounty hunter named Harry Love. Love's goal is to cut Merida's head off to collect a reward and gain fame. The Head of Joaquin Merida is an exciting and gritty series that tells the epic story of the Wild West's most famous outlaw. Es Joaquín, la banda más chingona de todo en California. We're gonna have a search party. I want these heads out of spikes. No, 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 no puede ser. No voy a llegar. Number 8, The Low Tone Club, Amaranto Molina is an extraordinary teacher who puts music at the center of his life. He starts working at a prestigious music school, but he doesn't feel comfortable there. The school's old-fashioned management and competitive environment doesn't suit his style. He also feels sorry for the talented but excluded students who can't get into the High Tone Club. Therefore, he forms the Low Tone Club with them. Thanks to this club, both the students and Molina have the opportunity to express themselves. But in the meantime, he has to deal with both the school administration and rivals from the High Tone Club. The Low Tone Club is an enjoyable and entertaining series for music lovers. Number 7, Kaleidoscope, who stole the $7 billion in bonds that disappeared during Hurricane Sandy in New York. In search of the answer to this question, Kaleidoscope takes viewers through events that unfold at different moments in time. A team of master thieves attempt to rob a seemingly impossible vault guarded by the world's most powerful private security team, but the heist has life-changing consequences. The audience tries to solve this complex puzzle by following the pieces of the puzzle in the order that suits them. No matter what color you start with, from yellow to green, purple or red, you will eventually learn the truth in the white episode. Kaleidoscope is a gripping and unusual crime series. 90 seconds! 20 seconds! 10 seconds! Let's go! I don't even know why we're doing this. It's not a duet. Billy, you wrote a good song. Number 6, Daisy Jones and the Six. Daisy Jones is one of the brightest stars of the Los Angeles music scene in the 70s, mesmerizing everyone with her beauty and voice. But her dream is not just to sing, but to write her own songs. This desire introduces her to a successful rock band called The Six. She and the band's leader Billy Dunn develop a musical and romantic chemistry. Daisy Jones and The Six make a legendary album together. However, it would also be their last album. Why did the band break up? What happened between Daisy Jones and Billy Dunn? Are you ready to hear their story from them? Daisy Jones and The Six is a gripping and emotional series that sheds light on the rock world of the 70s.
Do you think it's time to add a little fire? Don't overthink If it. you are tired of I'm searching for the best movie, why don't you put me to work for you? Let me do the work for you and pick the best from every genre every week. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's great to work for you. you dirty, crooked bastards. You stole shit out of our camp. Everything's gone. Shut up. Go back to where you belong and start. It's Lord of the Flies here. Number 5, Outlast, the cold and wilds of Alaska challenge 16 players as they fight for survival. These players are participating in the reality series Outlast to win a huge cash prize. But this competition is not easy. The players have to fight both nature and their opponents. Moreover, the players, each of whom is a lone wolf, must work as a team. Who will find a partner they can trust? Who will be selfish? Who will give up and give in? And most importantly, who will survive? Outlast invites audiences on a breathtaking adventure in the Alaskan wilderness. We'll see you at the finish line, you weak ass mother. Vivimos al margen. Estamos fuera. Por eso tenemos que cuidar los unos de los otros para sobrevivir. Number 4, Sky High, the series, after losing her husband Angel in a bloody showdown in Madrid's underworld, Sol suddenly finds herself alone and in a dangerous situation, needing to make bold decisions to protect her son and carry on her husband's legacy. Sol forges a new path to escape the pressure of her father, Rogelio. Teaming up with a gang of Madrid's most skilled thieves, she begins to pull off major heists. But this adventure may cost him dearly. As he tries to evade police pursuit, he must also battle other Mafia leaders. Sky High, the series is a gripping and exciting series set in Madrid's underworld. We've never seen a world like this populated with so many different faces and Number 3, Power. What is the role of female heroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? How did their stories come about? Who are the fans who are influenced by them? Power is a documentary series that seeks to answer these questions. Each episode focuses on a different heroine and interviews their creators and fans. From the Guardians of the Galaxy to Gamora, Wakanda's warrior Okoye, the universe's most powerful heroine Captain Marvel, and reality-changing Scarlet Witch, Power aims to inspire viewers with the power and diversity of women at Marvel. We're all recognizing that these stories need to be told. Before we get to today's work plan, I know some of you have been waiting for your ride home, but you're gonna have to wait up. Number two, the rig, everything is routine for the Kinlick Bravo team working on an oil platform off the coast of Scotland. But when it's time to return to land, a mysterious fog covers the platform, isolating them from the rest of the world. As a terrifying force hiding in the fog attacks them, the trust between the team is shaken. No one can trust anyone. Will the team survive as they struggle to uncover the truth behind the fog? The Rig is a breathtaking series of supernatural suspense. It's something old. And it's waking up. Hello. Can I help you? Number 1. The Consultant After a bloody massacre at the Compware Game Studio in Los Angeles, the survivors think they can make a fresh start. But things don't go as they expected. A mysterious and charismatic consultant named Regis Patoff arrives at the company and takes everyone under his spell. What is Patoff's purpose? Can the employees trust him? Or will cooperating with him be the biggest mistake of their lives? The Consultant is a gripping and darkly humorous series about the dangerous games between boss and employee. Some excel under stress. Maybe he's just really good at his job. Some break. This is the end of the video. You can check out my recommended list of movies above or our last video. See you soon.